All right, so here we are, pre-game. So what's up? Introduce yourself. What's up, man? What's up, man? How's it going? My name's Aris. Yeah, chilling. Chilling, bro. I should probably put the camera on your face and probably not just on your hair. That was like my pad it up there. So, um, yeah, all right, let's do this. Maybe. Can you get your face in the cam a little bit in the viewfinder of the cam so they can see you for a sec? So, let's talk. Let's do some predictions. No, that's not going to work. i got to go even higher with this fucking camera shit. So, um, what do you think? What are we doing? We're watching, what, the fourth game of the NBA Finals? Yeah. Who's playing? We got the Cavs. Cavs and the Warriors. You're a big fan of? The Warriors. The Warriors. Mr. Steph Curry is also one of your favorite players, is he not? Yes, sir. Right, you like his game. You like the gentleman. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I guess, are you kind of cheering for the Warriors, then? Is that what we're going to say? Okay, so... My friend Ari's is kind of cheering for the Warriors. Myself, I haven't watched any playoff basketball this year, minus a few highlights here or there, and finding out the results. I'm kind of silly like that. I have no preference on who wins or loses. I have much respect for all the players involved. Of course, I, uh, you know, I like all players. Uh, I think they're all really excellent. I'm really happy to see, you know, uh, I guess I could say LeBron in another finals. I am. I'm excited by that. He's an older guy. I'm an older guy. I believe we have that in common. It's pretty cool. I like to see this gentleman continue his career. I wish him all the best. Um, same with them all. All, all of the, Even the guys that are on the Cavs and stuff like that. I know some of their careers and stuff like that, though I haven't been keeping up much with the playoffs. Um, yeah, you know, I, I like to see talented players and I, I hope they all do well. So I really have nothing vested in the teams or um, the league itself or the outcome of the game, but I, you know, sure. happy to see a good game. 100%. I'm just always. like a fan, so I watch, like, the Warriors, and I'm cheering for them, but at the same sure. time, I want to see good basketball, you know? Like, sure. the Cavs have been playing good basketball for the last, like, couple games, you know? So, okay. So, like, you know, LeBron went for huge games, you know, kept them in the game. It wasn't, like, a blowout. Yeah. Even if they lost, like, you know, first game was kind of weird because Jared kind of did whatever he did. Sure. And then... Uh, and George Hill did. Anything's possible, and as they say. You know and George I mean? Hill did hit the free throw, so like. Yeah, was, there was some stuff with that like, that I heard. So many things could happen, but like, uh, it was just they were right there as well. Yeah. Didn't get yeah. blown out, except for that one game that uh, Curry had like nine trades. Okay. They won by like twenty years. So what about the Warriors? What are your thoughts on how the Warriors have been playing and how they've approached the series and different stuff like that coming into the finals? You know, I think they they played amazing. Their chemistry is on point. I think their defense is sick. Yeah, I think they're they're doing a really good job, you know, and, and Durant's, like, you didn't watch it, so I don't really want to spoil it for you. Sure, but, but go like, ahead, you, you know, give no, your opinion you know, on it, it's not really like, spoiling the game much. Yeah. No, just, like, their their chemistry is great, you know, and they're, like, working together and whatnot. It's hard to, I think they go for another, like, you know, few years, like, three, four years, I think they'll win in a row. Okay, like, so you see a dynasty sort yeah, of thing out of this exactly. franchise and out of the yeah. current team roster I think and stuff like, like that that they have. Even if other teams put together like rosters, they're not going to have the same kind of chemistry. You know, it's like kind of weird playing first year with new players. Unless you're like LeBron, you, the chemistry is all right. It's kind of sure. natural. But even if like other players, you know, form together, it takes a while to like kind of learn how to do that. You know, Golden State was like a drafted team plus Durant. Durant's pretty unselfish. He came to the system right away. He played good off the ball. And he's a scorer. He's good off the ball. He just moves really well. Yep. And him and Curry have that like very good chemistry duo where they're not on where they're very unselfish and they're like give up their kind of like fame in that moment for the other guys so that they can win as a squad. Sure. You know, they're like very good at understanding the the main goal and I think yeah. they like they really, really understand that. I think Draymond comes brings that tempo and like that vocal communication. Yeah, like a leadership sort yeah. of role and a and presence on the floor. And he just snaps with like all like putting everyone in place pretty much and he's yeah. like and he's just very competitive that's why you see him like get so many technicals and shit like that sure he's very like very physical and very passionate about the game yeah. just like yeah and he's so good on the defensive end that he's just like will you know question every ref for every call because he, he thinks he, he's right and like so most of the time he is but you know you don't want to cost the team anything either right so like sure being too emotional but yeah, it's like fucking the great the way he is. He plays his role yeah. as good as anyone does. So like, sure, Rasheed Wallace back in the day was a yeah. player that very much had his heart on his sleeve or KG right. in different respects. Yeah, and but like, Dr yeah, Draymond's more like KG. He's more like, I'm gonna talk shit to you. Yeah. But I'm also like block you on the defensive end, and we're gonna win, and I'm gonna assist or score on 
the play, you know, and yep. so it just like yep. lets you know. And I think Clay is just amazing and very low paintness. He just goes, he hoops, he hits his shots, he moves without the ball, he's not selfish, he doesn't cuts plead. well off of the ball, yeah. He doesn't plead for more, he'll take less money, like he's like so humble like that. I feel that's what I love about Clay. Sure. He just seems like a guy who's gonna take a pay cut and be low main, score twenty points. Get you, but he'll get you like forty in game six and keep you in the playoffs. Yeah, LeBron was fairly complimentary of uh, Clay in yeah. the press conference that I had saw the, of the last game. Yeah. He was saying that you know, like Clay on any other team would probably be a starter yeah. and be like you know, for sure, dropping starter. forty or whatever because you know of this past experience lighting it up and yeah. like what it was a thirty and a quarter, or forty and a quarter, and like dropping sixty. Yeah. yeah, like you know, the guy's pretty wild with that. For sure, doesn't take many dribbles to do it either. No, you know. Um, I think the surprising thing about the Warriors when Durant went over was the impact he had on their defense. Yeah. His length really led to, um, you know, more uh, deflected shots, block shots, or possessions right. where the defense or where the uh, the offense just didn't manage to score, and then it resulted in like a fast break situation right. on the other end because Durant, you know, uh, being the person who can block the shot or uh, be in the presence of a deflected shot and then end up with the rebound can start the break, right? So it gives them another, like almost a point guard, right. so then starting the break, you know what I mean, type For of sure. thing. And uh, that had a big kind of impact, I think, on the team last year. And you saw that, you know what I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, in some of Durant's game and stuff. Now, I didn't watch a lot this year. I've just been really busy with training and other things, and I get really tired. It's hard for me to watch yeah. full games sometimes. Uh, but I appreciate the league pass that you, yeah, yeah. you know, shared with me, and I tried to watch as many as I could during the regular season, which was fun. Yeah. Uh, playoffs, I watched one or two here or there, right. but not really too many playoff games at all, you know what I mean? Um, like, just quarters of them, to be perfectly honest, and then I just get really exhausted because it's late at night or whatever. Um, but, yeah, so uh, excited to watch this one. What else? Anything else we can throw out there before we get into this? So this is our sort of pre-game before we go into it. We're going to watch... The first half, then we're going to take a break, and then we're going to have our final thoughts on the game and stuff. So we'll check in again at half. half? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool, yeah. So what else? What else do you want to say before the game? Anything else you got? Who do you got at half? Who do you got winning at half? Oh, you're going to hold me to, like, actually no, like, no, just putting like, on who I think's going to... So, if I think who I think's going to lead up to half, I think Cleveland's going to lead up to half. Let's just say that. All right, cool. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That was the first thing. I'm intuitively saying it. Yeah, it just yeah. popped into my mind. No, that's cool. Yeah. You know, and then I wanted to switch it to Golden State, but I'm going to stick with the Cavs. Cool, cool, cool. You know what I mean? Just yeah. to, let's let's you know throw. You yeah. like Golden State, so why not? Right? Yeah, Somebody yeah. has to. I don't want to go. For sure, no. Nah, I'm just jump wondering because we're going to check in a half, so we're at half we're getting like you know. Sure, absolutely, and uh, yeah. So I guess then we're going to go. So we're going to watch the game, uh, and then we'll be back at halftime with the reactions. Talk to you soon. All right. Half we got man, yeah, against half these. Time shows. Half time. So what do you got? What's the prediction? So I had said the Cavs would be up at half when he had asked me, and unfortunately, I don't think I'm correct on this one. I think the Cavs are down, and Curry just hit a three going in to the half there. So what's your take? What do we got? How? What do you like of the game so far? What are your thoughts on it? Uh, I think that Golden State is playing pretty good. I think both teams are playing actually pretty good. The Cavs are like not defending as well as they should. I think Curry's penetrating well. Not yeah, well, you give up. us the analysis of Golden State and you break down how your boys and your team are playing and just lay it out. What do we got? Yo, what do you mean? So, so you, you, you take this one. You take you this th one. Th I'm not going to take it, but you, you were saying that Curry is playing well? I think he's playing pretty well. Okay, so he's had a good half? Yes, he's okay. had a great half. Okay. Like 20, 20 points at the half, right? So yep. shooting pretty efficient. Uh, his threes are going down, so he has the defense guessing, you know. Then he's had a few okay. layups. Yeah. Uh, yep, yep. So like you just keep it. Got that honest. tip in at yeah. the start of the game, exactly. and then from there just kind of open them up. Right. Yeah. Them out. yeah. And so I think the team's playing all right, but I think he's carrying them right now. You know. See, sure. they're only up three, I think, right? Going into. Sure. The, the, I, I remember him having that uh, up and under, that sort of uh, double pump three as well too. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, he had that yeah, pretty, yeah, he did have that. Pretty uh, long three with that one. And then uh, Durant was shooting really, really well, I believe, and pretty efficiently from the floor, hitting a couple threes and a couple spots from the floor, a mid-range uh, step back, you know, right. sort of fadeaway shot. Uh, yeah. Okay, anything else? What, what else we got for the Warriors before we switch over? What else we got? 
Oh, for the Warriors, yeah, that, I think that's about it. I think Clay and Draymond are a little. I think Draymond's playing well. Yeah, uh, like on overall. I think I think Clay's only shot the ball once. Yeah, I think he's, he's only he's like uh, for one lingering around. You know, got he's a couple like, fouls. Okay, he's, well, he's got, got three picked fouls. Up fouls yeah, quickly, got three so they fouls, put him yeah. on the bench a couple times. Yeah, true, true. So not many minutes uh, played for him. But uh, Iggy was Andre's in there. Well. Yeah, 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 Iggy had a three, and then yeah, two um, yeah, yeah. Draymond hit one right after from the corner there. Yeah, they had a good sequence for the Warriors who were taking. Them. So for me, the game felt like the Warriors were mostly in control, and the Cavs were getting very close at yeah. different times. And um, but they were always they were like first far off, then they were keeping within yeah, they were down know, a 11, decent so range. Shout out to them for coming back. Yeah, to and then um, it's tough against this they were keeping it pretty close, but then it expanded again slowly. Right. Uh, but they kind of had it and didn't have it. So moving over to the Cavs, um, I think they're playing pretty good overall. What I noticed is that they tried to get Love some touches early from the outside, but didn't really fall for him. But then he hit a couple shots inside. Uh, you know, made a couple of rebound, the tip-in sort of thing. Um, I noticed that, you know, obviously LeBron has the ball a lot, and he was making a couple of plays for people. Um, George Hill hit a three. I saw uh, JR, you know, I think he missed his first one, then he hit his second or something like that. Um, so yeah, they're playing okay. If you need to play a little bit better, maybe defensively. There was a few defensive lapses yeah, and where they got so. a little confused on the assignments and who was going to be the secondary defender and stuff. Right. And uh, But there was also some really good ones where they had some good defense and forced right. some tough shots and then and yeah. pushed the ball on the fast break. There was yeah. one instance where they had a fast break and uh, Love had the ball and he had an opportunity to throw it up to JR. So like, you know, the ball moves faster than a person dribbling it. But for some reason he looked behind him to LeBron and then LeBron bought the ball up the floor when he got into the play and different stuff like that, just the, the spacing wasn't exactly the way he had wanted it or the timing wasn't there. So he forced, you know, a somewhat difficult layup going to his left, cost a, you know, a rebound, and the Warriors scored out of the fast break on right. that one. So that was something that I saw. I thought they could have just pushed it ahead. And then a couple of plays later, they distinctively did push it ahead more quickly. And that was the one where you commented that JR made the nice behind the back pass. Uh, and they got a dunk out of it, and then later Nance got, or did Nance get the open dunk? No, Nance got an open dunk yeah, yeah. somewhere in between that after or just before. Yeah. But yeah, so I um, was hoping the Cavs would have it going into half when you had asked me, you know, just, just for sake of, because you're going for the Warriors. For sure. Now, right? I was Make it interesting. And um, yeah, so um, what else? Any thoughts or predictions going into the rest of the game? Who do you think wins? <laughs> I'm going to go with the same answer. So you're going to say the Warriors win. Okay, so how do you think the game kind of plays out? Uh, I, think it's, the I, think, I think Warriors come out this quarter extremely well, defensive. I think they kind of run away with it in this quarter. The okay. Cavs might play really hard and keep... They start to get yeah. that space and that yeah. barrier where then they can just run with it the rest of the game. Yeah, and but I think if LeBron just, like, you know, is more aggressive, getting his shooters open and driving to the wall, I yeah, think, I think they can stay close, but if not, and they break down, like you said on defense and whatnot, I think they'll get blown out the water. Yeah, yeah. Watching LeBron's body language on this one, uh, I think he was looking to set people up in that first half more than anything, because there was a, the times when he was just specifically looking for teammates. You know what I mean? And LeBron, obviously, that's a big part of his game, but he's also a very dominant scorer, and I felt like he didn't really attempt a great deal of shots yeah. in in that half. Uh, there's a couple times where he, you know, made some, like he had that really crazy mid-range shot where he was fading out out yeah. of bounds and went over the backboard. There was some nice shit where, like, um, you know, he had his fast break sort of spin, big body yeah, sort of move. Um, he had a, he got open on a dunk, but that was actually the JR pass one, was where LeBron finished with a really nice dunk. Um, yeah. I think, I think he took a three or two. I don't know if he hit one or not. I think yeah, maybe he hit one. No, I don't know though. Right, he he he's playing all right. I think he needs to play more aggressive. I think yeah, it was more of a passive. Let's get other people involved and stay there. 
I think a lot of good players do. I think he does it. You know, I mean, because you need your teammates, take care right? Of other like, teammates. Yeah. Yeah, LeBron absolutely. is a passive forward. You know, he's not like a, sure. Just a, he's a def, definitely a dominant scorer, but he that he has all areas of his game. Yeah, and his vision is like great. There's aspect his his times IQ. when he looks to pass first as opposed to score. Sure, absolutely. Getting everyone involved, like that's the reason <clears> Kevin Love starts off. You know, with all those passes and stuff. And like, his the idea, looks at the yeah, start. Yeah, sure. Yep. LeBron's trying to take you know the decoy and just. Yeah, or Jr. getting a couple of exactly, three yeah. looks. Yep. Yeah. Um, so just the care for that your teammates and whatnot is what I really like. About. So we're expecting LeBron to turn it up a little bit more yeah, in the second half sure. and play the game a little bit more aggressively and still look for his teammates, but then also, you know, um, clock winding down situations, maybe taking a few shots or just being more aggressive with his shot in general right. and not, you know, deferring as much. So we'll have to see what happens. Yeah, I'm going to say the Cavs are going to win. Um, I'd like to see them win. They're in Cleveland. I'd like to see the series continue. It gives me a reason to watch another playoff game. You know, that sort of vibe, right? Fair enough. Uh, I hope it's some really great basketball. I hope the refs don't fuck shit up and call too much stuff. I feel like the refs have been okay. They haven't been terrible. Yeah, a couple calls so missed, a couple calls good. You know, they've been right on yeah. for the most part. Um, we saw a couple times, you know, where... Um, we, had, we, had, we agreed with the call. Same for the most part. Yeah. I think there was one or two where maybe you were like, yeah, that could have, you know, you wanted a call foul, on that yeah, or yeah, something yeah. like that. I think the Curry corner one where he threw it up. The left corner quickly. You wanted a foul on that one. I wanted one on the the one where you hit him in the head. Though. That was the that was the yeah that was before that was the pump fake yeah. uh, double clutch three sort of thing. Yep yep. Um, yeah, I think there was a few calls either way. You know they could have gone either way. But the, the, the calls balance out. I feel like while I was thinking about it, I'm like, yeah, oh, I think they balance out. Like it's hard to get every single play. You don't get sure. the rest. Of get it right. But, uh, like, yeah. At the same time, there hasn't been scrutiny over it in the last little bit, like way more. I than heard usual, that there was a lot. I, mean. I heard, especially in the yeah, first two so games, that's, that there was that's a heavy uh, amount of it. So those kind of things, it's not, it's not great. And when the NBA reviews it and they're like, "You should have got this, this, and this," then it's like, fine, you know. Then you can blame the refs, but like for the most part, they do a pretty good job. Yeah, and I'm like, not so familiar with what happened with that last two-minute review or something like that. But that was very. Oh yeah, yeah, the charge. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you can't review after two minutes, uh, or something like that. And like, no, you can, but like, you can't change the call. I mean, you can't reverse the call, unless you're like, dude, looking at something else. You know, they mm -hmm. they kind of like cheated the rules a little bit, but like. Yeah, that was the controversial. Yeah. A lot of people were after the so refs like, and the different stuff going on with that. It's very, it was very hidden. Like the way they did it was like kind of slick, and then they were just like, all right, fuck it, you know. Hmm. Sometimes that happens in the games where maybe they have missed a call previous or other things have gone on, so yeah. it's like a makeup call where they're trying too, to attempt right? to like, yeah, you know, or adjust for what had happened. But so many different variables have happened in that game. But we're gonna have to see what happens in the second half here. So you're gonna ride with Golden State, and I'm riding with Cleveland. So all right, final thoughts after the game then. All right, okay. sure. All right, cool. In the yeah. And what? What are you? What are you gonna say? No, no. Yeah, no. What? What? No, no. I didn't know everything's good. <laughs> yeah. All right. The court. Excellent. Well, congratulations. I'm sure there's frustration. But he congratulated yeah. the guys who were on the court before he left. Great point. Before he checked out, I should say, for the last time. And this isn't easy. This is All right. absolutely... He left right away, eh? It looked like it. Where? He didn't even say... So, you know, we'll slide over Just a little slide. bit there. Yeah. So, what are your thoughts? What so, are your thoughts? The Golden State Warriors win the NBA Finals. Uh, just like they said they would, and just like everyone thought they would this year. Is that is that how it goes? I feel like this. Uh, it was like kind of just like. Is that what everyone? They have says? a super team. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I don't. They said everyone said like for a bit Rockets. Right. And then Rockets lost Chris Paul and whatnot. It was a so the series, series was kind of yeah. You know, it, it was, was like, you know, you don't ever know, but also, like, right. you can never know, you know, it's like, ended up, Golden State ended up winning, you know, but okay. like, to sweep in the finals is, like, crazy, it's like, yeah, that's there's interesting. not much, yeah. much competition for them. They're know? saying that's, what, the the first sweep since 2007? Yeah. That's quite a ways back. Um, yeah, so what else, Golden State, um... Did they yeah, faced a little bit more adversity this year than they did going think, through the playoffs than, than previous years, maybe? Yeah, or teams so, yeah. that were slightly more prepared for them, especially the Western Conference ones? 100%. Yeah, I so, feel like, uh, yeah. And that challenge, I think, is going to get harder and harder, you know, throughout the... 
next right. couple of years, but I feel like they just have really good chemistry that they'll get it done. Sure. You know, and I think they're just urged to win is just really good, you know. Yeah. Fuck, I wanted to watch the uh, the finals MVP. Uh, Let's throw it on. Let's we'll throw it on. Let's we'll yeah. throw it on. I throw it on right in a second. I just wanted to get yeah, your reaction yeah. to the finals and stuff. What about you? And uh, what did you think of the game? Uh, well, I just want to make a quick commentary on what you're saying with the Golden State. I was gonna say the thing is with the Western Conference is like the teams that are in the Western Conference play them more often and stuff like that, so yeah. it's easier for them to prepare for it, and also some of the style of playing in the Western Conference lends itself more so, like you know Mike D'Antoni. Right. Uh, you know, Houston and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah. I was really kind of disappointed with yeah, Cavs. Uh, so, you could, obviously you could tell by the shit I was saying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Me getting excited and stuff. But, sure. um, I, I think I, you're completely right on everything. I just thought it was a lack of effort. I really thought the game was so within their reach and all they really needed to do was like, you know, just get some stops on defense, play good defense overall, don't have any defensive lapses if they can avoid them, and definitely always have that second defender know where they're supposed to be and stuff like that as opposed to being confused. Um, and then just, you know, try to win those hustle plays, try to get some rebounds, and take care of the ball on the offensive end. I thought a lot of their passes were just kind of like really reckless passes, especially for a finals. Like, you can understand maybe that's like a regular season game or something like that, but it just... And then the effort level and, and intensity, it seemed like Golden State maintained a really high level of intensity, right. effort, and attention to detail through the entire game, where the Cavs were lacking and lapsed yeah. on a lot of that stuff, 100%. which over time, and then like, you know, shouts out to LeBron James, this is his eighth finals, I think he's an amazing human being, philanthropist, and player. I would just say in this finals, perhaps maybe a combination of, you know, he had that injury with the eye and other factors going on with his health and then maybe the fatigue. Maybe that's why this particular game wasn't his best performance. I felt that he was very laid back. And for somebody of his stature to be so laid back and default to other people. Now, like, statistically, I think he had a pretty fair game. I don't know what he ended up with points-wise, but it looked like he was shooting around 50%, maybe just under 50% for the game or something like that. Yeah. So it's not like he necessarily shot the ball bad or anything like that. It's just I would expect a higher volume of shots and a more aggressive LeBron. It just right. seemed like he was, like... Passing the ball and then just standing up at the top very often and just watching plays right. and then not really crashing like the boards when other people were shooting like he didn't follow up to try to get a rebound very often right. and then also it's not like he was you know running down on the other end on defense I feel like a lot of the times he was uh, took a couple plays off or you know there was different <laughs> instances where he had to guard like Curry or something like that and he just kind of like Sounds let bad, Curry yeah. yeah you know run to the three point line and then he went to go guard him rather than stay with him as he was going just small little things like that very surprising the tone of his games was was radically different than other games you would watch of LeBron the, the tone and style and mannerisms that he would play some of the other games especially that I ended up seeing the highlights from the Toronto series Radically different than the C right. You know what I mean? Like yeah. this is we're talking like fadeaway LeBron. Yeah. You know, like floater LeBron, all that different stuff that was going on in the Toronto series. I didn't see huge much three, of that in the clutch. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge turnaround crazy three pointers. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. know, the sidestepping yeah, threes shot and different threes stuff. Shit. Not even threes, just jump shots in general, right? That's what he So I suspect maybe there was other things going on there, or maybe just like after such Putting up such a, like, what what did he score, 50 in the last game? 50? Uh, in the last game, uh, 30. But okay. in the first game, he scored 50. Okay, yeah. and that's what I'm trying to say. After yeah. putting out such an, exerting himself so much, putting out so much effort, maybe this game, like, is just a reflection of he's just, you know, at a certain point, yeah. right? You know what I mean? And he tried to do everything he could. And also, combine that with their very newly developed roster and... All of them making lapses and small little mistakes, either due to fatigue or mental errors and different right. things like that, just combined. And so it just left a weird sort of impression because, like, especially that like there's four minutes left in the game, you're down by thirty, and he goes to sit. Yeah. Like I, uh, I totally understand that if it's the regular season, if you have another playoff game, maybe in your very last playoff game. Yeah. When it's the finals, like this is the last four minutes of your season, right. why would you go to the bench? Especially when you're down 30. Right. And at that point in the game, 
like I, even when they were when maybe not when it was four minutes left, but when it was eight minutes, had a significant effort been applied because they were only down about twenty two. I really think they could have maybe got that game very close had they slowed down the clock and got some calls, gone to the line, you know, different things like that. Right. But it just seemed like they were early yeah. early on. They wanted to shoot some threes and try to maybe catch a rhythm from three. Right. A cup like. A few were missing. One or two kind of hit. I think they got a couple hits, and then those sort of possessions and those lacks, uh, uh, lapses on defense and other things, and understanding when to take care of the ball, when to not throw a cross court pass, different things like that. That's what cost them the game. And then the co the combination, you know, just the not overwhelmingly dominant LeBron right. this evening. You know what I mean? LeBron yeah. still probably played a wonderful game statistically and everything like that. It's just the vibe. The vibe right. wasn't there, like, you know, and you could kind of tell it in his face. No, for sure. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't the same that we've seen in all playoffs. Times. I think this was one of his worst <clears> games <throat> and probably the worst game of his postseason. So, and it's the last game. So. And it was at home, too, yeah. in Cleveland, where that's supposed to be, like, you know, defend the land and yeah. the, whole, the whole thing. But, you know, I understand how that can also be very difficult. You know what I mean? In this situation, yeah, close on the game, you know, big team other teams and, get a couple of nods. So and the Warriors are incredibly talented and, and very well resourced in terms of being a team. Like you know, their whole coaching staff and everyone around them is excellent in what they do. So it puts all of the players in very good positions and all that sort of stuff. You know, uh, but there's lots of shuffles at the Cleveland front office and other things this year in, in terms of roster. So it's you know there wasn't as many as that, right? In, right. and, and they were not necessarily all as positive as the directions of maybe some of the moves of Golden State and right. stuff like that. Like, people all got along. It wasn't like they were fighting for people because it wasn't working and stuff like that. You yeah. Know? So, yeah. Um, what else? What else you got on it? On the mm -hmm. game? Uh, was... What do you think is almost like 30, they almost got 30 points? Yeah. Almost a game type of vibe, you know? Yeah, it was pretty, pretty smacking at the end. I think that's mm -hmm. what I said before. I think they blew them out the water. Cleveland does it, you know, wake up kind of yeah. thing. So yeah. that's exactly what happened. And uh, big third th third quarter for we'll see. You know, it was eh? we had, there was that fifteen point run type of thing yeah. to really build that barrier, and then like the Cleveland came back a little bit, and I think yeah. they cut it to like eight. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it went back up to fifteen, and then it was seventeen, and then it was nineteen, and then just building from there. Yeah. yeah. So I so. think uh, they did a good job in, in keeping the pressure. Yeah, that third quarter was a real. That was that was where they got that that space. You know what I mean? Where they really, you know, pushed out in front. For sure. And then the fourth was just continuation of that, especially yeah. the first maybe like five minutes. Of yeah, the yeah, yeah. And then Fuck. In the first a little bit, everyone on goal the same plate, right? So. And the the energy was just sucked out of the arena. Yeah. Like there was no noise, no. nothing going on. Like they could fire as many fucking t-shirts as they wanted, and nobody was like, yeah, no, <laughs> they're just like, yo, yeah. you might as well just keep that in the barrel for next yeah. year. You know what I'm saying? Like next time we make the fire, <coughs> fire them out at the first game with that loud music. Right now, right. Let's put on that funeral sound. We're just gonna chill here. <laughs> like yeah, it was tough. Yeah, it's tough. Yo, just put on the. Yeah, I got you. I'll put it on the. Okay. I'll put it on the. I'm gonna watch it. I'm pretty tired. That's okay.